Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In this video, I will explain about photorespiration and the C4 adaptation. In photosynthesis, specifically during the Kelvin cycle, the enzyme Rubisco binds carbon dioxide to RUBP and eventually leads to the production of photosynthetic products such as glucose and amino acids. Photorespiration is a process where Rubisco is undoing photosynthesis. Instead of fixing carbon, Rubisco fixes oxygen to RUBP, causes the loss of the already fixed carbon as carbon dioxide. Photorespiration wastes energy and reduces the yield of photosynthetic products of a plant. So, this pathway is undesirable in plants. Rubisco can bind either carbon dioxide or oxygen to the RUBP. When the temperature is high, stomata of a plant close to prevent excessive water loss. Due to the reduced rate of gases exchange, less carbon dioxide is available. So, Rubisco binds oxygen instead of carbon dioxide to RUBP and carry out photorespiration. Besides, Rubisco has a higher affinity for oxygen when temperature increases. In short, hot and dry conditions tend to cause more photorespiration in a plant. Some plants that live in the hot and dry conditions develop a special pathway to prevent the occurrence of photorespiration. This pathway is called the C4 pathway. Those plants without these special features are known as C3 plants, while those with this special adaptation are called the C4 plants. These plants are said to have the C4 adaptations. In the leaves of the C4 plants, there are two types of photosynthetic cells, mesophyll and bundle sheet cell. Mesophyll cells pack tightly around the bundle sheet cells. Bundle sheet cells do not come into contact with the air spaces. Two different processes occur in the cells. C4 pathway occurs in the mesophyll cells, while the Kelvin cycle occurs in the bundle sheet cell. In the mesophyll cell, carbon fixation occurs. An enzyme called PEP carboxylase binds carbon dioxide to PEP. This enzyme does not bind oxygen. No Rubisco is found here. A product called malate is produced. It has four carbons, which is the reason why this pathway is called the C4 pathway. Malate is transported into the bundle sheet cell. In the bundle sheet cell, malate is decarboxylated to pyruvate. Carbon dioxide is released so its concentration is maintained. Rubisco will bind carbon dioxide to RUBP as the concentration of carbon dioxide is high here in the cell. And the bundle sheet cell is not having close contact with the air spaces, so the chance of binding oxygen is very low. The Kelvin cycle occurs as usual, but photorespiration will not. Pyruvate moves back to the mesophyll cell for more C4 pathway so more carbon dioxide can be released in the bundle sheet cell. If the concentration of carbon dioxide is maintained all the time, photorespiration is not possible. If you find my video useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.